Now a special report on children with autism here in the Valley, either leaving high school or getting ready to do so. There are very few programs available to those who cannot enter college, and tonight parents express their immediate concern over what happens when the bus stops coming. Gabriel Thames is in his final years at San Benito High School. Yeah, I like high school. Mm -hmm. A little bit. Gabriel is autistic and participates in transitioning into the real world while still in school. Yeah. Oh, yeah. My choice. Yeah. We're dusting it. We're fixing it. Straight it up. But once he ages out, his options are limited. When the school is over, PlayStation 2. Yeah, I go play PlayStation 2. <laughs> He'll be on his eighth year next year. Maria Elena is Gabriel's mom and is scrambling to find alternatives for her son once he leaves school after he turns 21. That's as long as children with special needs can stay in school, and that's just another year away. When he's aged out of school, what are you going to do then? What's Gabriel going to do then? He'll be home. He'll be home. I'll try and find a daycare, but yet. I don't know that they're really equipped to do very much of anything down here for, the, for their children. There are some services in the Valley for those with disabilities who are too old to be in school. However, most are geared towards the elderly in the form of adult daycare centers. Fred Bettis is the admission review and dismissal director for the San Benito School District and says sending someone like Gabriel there will only reverse all the hard work his family and teachers have done to get him through school. And it's very hard for us to see our students that leave us at 22 go to an adult daycare because they're not 60, 70, 80 years old like the rest of the people that they are with. They should be with students. I don't think he'll learn anything there. He'll sit there. That's why San Benito CISD is doing all they can to get Gabriel prepared for the next chapter in his life, even bringing in embroidery equipment to help students learn a trade. We have students that can take an order which is, it lends itself to many different businesses. We have students that can fold the clothes. We have students that do the delivery. And mm -hmm. the people come and they pay come, you? Yes, they to pay, pay me. And pick they it up, pick that shirt. Yeah. That's wonderful, that's great wonderful. work. Because I do think they all have skills that he could train and actually go out and work, be out for a little while, go out and meet people his age, be out there in the community and just learn something, you know, so that one day when I'm gone, at least he knows. The transition uh, to TSTC, Texas State Technical College, uh, was a little shaky at first. Manny Vela is the CEO of Valley Baptist Medical Center and a father to a teenager with Asperger's. Manny Mack, as his family affectionately calls him, was in the top 10% of his graduating class and still transitioning into the real world has been a challenge. The family counts its blessings for having the experience with Manny Mack in our lives. Um, uh, he has made us incredibly more empathetic compassionate and understanding for people with these type of challenges. Vela has taken an active role in fighting for the rights of autistic children, specifically where they can turn when the bus stops coming, and says there are state-funded facilities in Texas that cater to autistic children and others with disabilities, but none south of San Antonio. We can advocate with our legislators, such as our champion, Senator Eddie Lucio, to help uh, create those type of programs that might give the, all children uh, with challenges, uh, whether or not they can move on and transition into college or not, an opportunity to do something positive instead of sitting at home. That is Gabriel's mother's biggest concern. Here in the valley there is nothing. This is where my son grew up. This is what he knows. Sending him out of here, he'd be like a little fish out of water. So I'd like something down here in the valley. Would you like to work at one of those? Yeah, one of those. And since Gabriel can't fight for what he needs on his own, his mom will continue speaking on his behalf about what he needs to live a productive life. Somebody who could really look out for the best interests. Who came to see you at school? Um, Marcy Martinez. She did? Yes. All by herself? By herself. What did she do? What did she do? Hmm. 
Well, I got to see my friend Gabriel again. Senator Eddie Lucio helped in expanding health coverage for children with autism. He tells us that he will look into bringing more programs to the Valley to help these students once they graduate or age out of school, as in Gabriel's case. Many of you are already commenting on my Facebook page. I'm chatting right now as well. My nephew has autism. Let's talk about it. This issue concerns all students with special needs. Please join us at Facebook.com slash Action4NewsMarcy.